So now we're going to predict the voltage values, the EMF values when comparing two cells together. So you'll uh, be given two cells that will be found in your data booklet and just write them out first. Uh, so for instance, if we grab uh, these two here, uh, you'll then take the one that is the most positive and leave it as it is and take the one that is less positive, uh, which is this one here, reverse the sign and make it go in this direction. So this one's gonna go in this direction. Uh, as the, it's the most positive, the other one's gonna go in the other direction. You then add the two together. Uh, that'll give you around uh, 0 0.2. Uh, so that's the voltage there. It's also positive, And so you'll actually have this one occur. So that'll be spontaneous. So follow those four steps. Here's a practice problem. Uh, and so this one, you've got tin and silver. Uh, so if you go to data, your data booklet, these are the two formulas here. Uh, this one here is the most positive. So number two is take the other one and reverse it. So write it out again. So that's the direction it's going in. You've reversed the sign. You can now add the two together. Uh, and so you can, uh, just for the sake of a redox reaction, we have times the electrons by two so we can get a balanced redox reaction. Um, that will not uh, ever change the EMF. Uh, the fact that it's not balanced is uh, your problem, not the problem of the universe. The universe knows what it's doing and has done that. Uh, the fact that you're not aware of that's not important. Uh, and so you don't ever need to times out those. Uh, and so you just add those two together and there you go. It is spontaneous because it's positive and that is the voltage you will get. A few of the more cluey students do pick up on the fact that reactivity and standard electro potentials are not the same thing. Uh, so as you uh, may remember, reactivity is going to increase down. Uh, and so that's why uh, this is in the correct order for reactivity. Uh, and you'll find that uh, that is not the case uh, for standard electro potentials. Uh, the simple answer for that is there's water interacting with these. Uh, there's a lot more other interactions of positives and negatives going on than just a simple uh, comparing of the two. Okay, so there's, uh, this smaller iron is uh, more reactive with water. Uh, if you want to do IB high level chemistry, you can actually precisely mathematically work out uh, these why these are in these places using a Born Harbor energy cycle. All right, thank you.